Hey, this is Cut Mod coming to you from beautiful Southern California to talk about working with live drums in VDMX. In this video, I'll explain my drum triggered lighting and visual setup for Philip H. and Selmo and the Illegals on their 2014 Technicians of Distortion tour. Right now, you're looking at the core elements of my drum reactive control system. For the sake of a clean screen capture, I'm recording this back at the studio with a MIDI stream coming in from an Ableton drum rack. However, I will get into the live show setup later on. As I turn up the drum rack audio, you should start to see what interface objects the drum MIDI is controlling. Now let's take a closer look at how the data is being routed around the various plugins. Here we have the control surface that receives the MIDI from the drums. I kept it simple and only used kick and snare triggers on this run, but this could easily be scaled up to incorporate the whole drum kit and more. Both sliders have number effects chains on them with a tiny bit of fall time for a more natural fade out on the LED fixtures. Now let's check out the objects that receive data from the drum trigger's control surface. I decided to build a control surface representation of each fixture in my light rig. This way, all of the fixture parameters were labeled, mapped to DMX channels, and ready to be assigned data sources. Here we have the control surface for the LED strobe fixtures. I had them set on the same DMX channel and mounted around the kit facing the drummer, blue. The first channel of that fixture is manual dimmer control. I assigned the kick slider as the data source for the dimmer. In this way, the drum kit would be illuminated whenever blue would hit a kick drum. The other parameters receive OSC data from Touch OSC running on my iPad, and the dimmer could also be switched into manual mode and receive data from one of those Touch OSC sliders. The other fixtures controlled by drum triggers were LED pin spots. I had four of these individually addressed for individual control, and for simplicity's sake, I put them all in one control surface as you can see here. For these fixtures, I wanted to create a chase sequence that could be stepped through, one light at a time, with each drum hit. That turned out to be easier said than done, so now let's go through my convoluted workaround and see how I did it. First I set up a step sequencer with four tracks and four columns, and drew in a mutually exclusive sequence. Then came the task of advancing the sequence one step at a time based on Boolean input. As far as I could figure out, the standard VDMX sequencer is not built to be stepped through manually. However, in the VDMX forum, I found a Quartz Composer plugin that allows manual stepping. Many thanks to Blackburst for sharing this. Once I installed the plugin to users slash cutmod slash library slash application support slash VDMX slash plugins, I was ready to start stepping. As you can see here, I set up the next button to receive data from the kick and snare sliders. With the number of sequence steps set to 4, and the VDMX step sequencer's time parameter receiving data from Blackbird's sequence stepper plugin, I was then ready to step through each of the four lights with each drum hit. Or so I thought. With the step sequencer's four tracks directly controlling the four spot dimmers, the setup will advance the chase sequence along with each drum hit, but that would always leave one light on. I wanted to have a different beam of light flash on with each hit, but only for about as long as the drum sound is heard. To achieve this, I assigned the four step sequencer tracks to control the max parameter of their respective spot dimmers and assign the drum triggers as data sources for all four spot dimmers. While all four dimmers are receiving drum hits, at any one time, three of them have zero range, while the fourth is still free to follow the drum's amplitude envelope. In addition to triggering lights, I also experimented with drum triggers controlling visual effects. Here you can see the kick is controlling the distortion amount on an instance of V002 Glitch Analog, which has been kindly bundled with VDMX.